Hello. Clean that out. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, oh, let's see. Lighting, lighting. I don't know why I can't get this lighting kind of. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think y'all can see me. I think y'all can see me. Maybe that one. Okay, we'll leave right there. Um, just popping on. We're gonna do a quick look. Really, really fun, I think. Uh I think let's just go for it. Um, I pulled out my Melt Cosmetics palettes because I kept thinking all oh, day day. I think y'all want to try to do a red smoky eye. Or even like that red. It's a little dangerous, but we're gonna go for it, okay? Uh, what I may do is let me put let me see. Their stuff is so pigmented that I almost think I'm going to not put... I was going to put a um, a little base down, but I think I'm going to skip that and just go straight in with this red. We're going to keep this look simple but fun. And they had another color that I kind of want to may go in with that I think is so pretty. It's out of the... Which one? I can't pronounce. This impulsive one. I think this was on sale not too long ago. But they had this Kosh color called Go Getter. I'm thinking that in the center. I don't know. We're just going to play because it's more like a kind of bright red. We're just going to play and see what happens. Um, I need to put down a little bit of a transitional shade. There is no transitional shade that I can use in either one of these. Unless I kind of go in with this gold one out of in the Impulse palette. They stuff is so pigmented that, you know, it's just kind of like, hmm, do I want to do that or kind of keep it more neutral up top? Let's go in with something a little more neutral for our, oh, hold on, for our uh, transitional shade. Let me see if I can't find anything. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that brown ooh, from my old BH Cosmetics. Let's see. If I got enough of that to make it work. Well, what we're going to do first is let's just stay down this red. Y'all all over the place, forgive me. Because I'm just like, do I want to do this red? But yeah, I think I do. And let me get my favorite lay brush. And go from there. I don't know this number, but this is the brush I like to put. And the shade is called Corazon. That red. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just see what it looks like. Does it come off red or more pinky now i think it looks red more pink pink red that's what i think okay yeah that probably would have been better had i put a black down too late now i don't think that their eyeshadows need much work like that yeah that looks pretty Yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. I do. So what I'm going to do is go in with a fluffier brush and blend out that shade. The Morphe M441. It's going to pick up a little bit of the red on the brush. Yeah, I think I am going to go in with that other shade. I actually think I am going to kind of do a fake cut crease. And just go from there. 
brighten things back up because that's kind of darker. Than what I originally intended. It's okay, it looks good though. Go to the other side. Ooh. Just picking up. So I did pick up the Pixie eyeliner. And I did pick up an e.l.f. Uh, mascara because I want to see if I can find a mascara that doesn't make my eyes water. So. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know why, but it seemed like the red picked up better on this side. Well, let's just blend it out, honey. Go from there. See what it's working, what it's looking like. People say, you be going live and you don't have nobody on your lives. Yeah. It's for later, too. <laughs> so if you don't catch it now, you can catch it later. You know what I'm saying? It's nice to have people to interact with, but I don't never know when I'm gonna go live. Like, I don't have anything planned. I just, whenever I get a moment and I can sit down and kind of play, that's just where I am. So we might just, do we wanna leave it like that? Like a red smoke for real? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is out of that, so. Uh, I'm gonna pick up another M441. I'm gonna go into the Impulsive palette. I'm gonna pick up that little gold shade that's in here, that orange you go, it's called 2012. That one right there, I'm just gonna run it along. Ooh. I try to keep these things on here because it helps protect the eyeshadows when you close them. So let's see what that little gold shade looks like. Cause I got some eyelashes from, ooh, that's cute. I got some eyelashes from Amazon. Hunty, we gonna try them out. I had ordered them because you know I was wasn't sure if I was gonna ever be able to find my little two twelve, maybe the ones I like to wear, the twenty ones. So I just ordered some from Amazon, child, because I never could find the kiss ones that I like online. Not that style, not that number, rather. So they they eyeshadows are really pigmented and beautiful. Gonna pick up. This one thing where I hate you be working out of like two palettes. I had to actually pull my table up so I can make sure that I got uh you know room and you know, all that good stuff. Hey, Tandra. That's kind of cute. Here, yeah, we're going to go back in with a little more of the gold shade out of the Impulsive palettes. And just kind of... We are playing with our <laughs> Melt Cosmetics uh, palettes. We have the... Murete? Murete? Murete palettes. And we're playing out of the Impulsive Palettes. Just having a little bit of fun. So I'm going back in with that gold shade out of the Lemute Palette. <laughs> Marute? Murete. 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 Palette. We're going to use, we're just going in between them two just to create something funky. See what it looks like. We're just going to put some stuff on here, girl and pray that it works out. Okay, going back in with our red shade, especially right here. Cause I think I am gonna go in with that shimmer shade just to see what it looks like. I don't think I've ever used it in a video, so yeah. Now you could deepen out this out, deepen up the outer crease a little bit more if you want to. These, they're, like I said, their eyeshadows are really pigmented. So you have to be kind of careful with them because they don't play. Okay. Not at all. 
but I'm here for it. I like the um, formula. So I did get a note. I, I sent Pat McGrath a uh, message yesterday and said, well, because they said if you want to check on your shipping, you had to email them. So I did email, going back in with the red, and they sent me a ship confirmation probably about, ooh, maybe an hour or so after I emailed them and said it would be here tomorrow. <laughs> so with my elf, is it out? Well, I think that's out of order. My name and Marcus won't be here. Right. I said, oh, they probably waiting on you to email them. I don't know. I'm just being funny. But yeah, it said it was coming tomorrow. I said, oh, okay. About time. So I do think I want to deepen up my outer V just a little bit. And this uh, Valerio, the, the part burgundy, or even the one next to it, the sand gray those are beautiful i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the sand gray and just see do i want to do sand gray yeah i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the sand gray shade and just kind of right here feather it yeah i thought that was interesting too as soon as i emailed them i got a ship confirmation for tomorrow so you know what that mean oh we got some videos coming Going back in with our yellow brush that had the gold yellowish color on it. I don't know, I kinda, do I like this like this? Kinda feeling it. I, I got both of the palettes sitting in my lap, y'all, cause really I can't. Do I want to go in with this shimmer shade or do I want to keep this all matte? I think I'm gonna keep this all matte right now and then I may I don't know if it's kind of feeling this the way this came out. I'm not tearing up, so it's not anything in here. I don't think in their particular. It doesn't seem like anything in their in their formula is irritating me. So. Hey. Indecent, is that what it is? So I don't know what to say about the whole, going back in with the little gold shade, about the whole little watering of the eye. I didn't mean to erase all of it. But let's do the same thing to the other side. It's super pretty. I like it. So we might just keep this matte. I'm just trying to think. Do I want to keep it matte or go in with that pretty? That's cute. <clears throat> Going back in with the sangre, sangria, sangria shade. I'm just kind of deepening it up a little bit more. Going back in with our red and just kind of diffusing that a little bit. Girl, this shade right here is so beautiful. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go for it. <laughs> Hold on. It's this shade out of the Murete one. That shade right there. Let me swatch it. See? Let's just go for it. Yep, let's go for it. It'll be just, ooh, yeah, let's go for it. We ain't got no choice now. I feel like if maybe if I had put some glitter glue down, right. So it's like this pinkish, reddish, coral type color. So what I think I'm going to do, I was going to put a little bit of um, glitter glue down, but I think I like the way that that's looking without it being overly done. Yeah, it looks like you could just press it in 
to get a bigger payoff. Yeah, the more you kind of layered it on, the better that shadow. Ooh, yes. So I'm gonna go back in with our brush that had the red fluffy. It had the red on it, Lord have mercy. The fluffier brush, not the one we used to lay down. And I'm actually gonna kind of do this in certain spots, like right there. On the edge. Kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Yep, I like it. Hold on, let me get a brush to kind of do what I need it to do right there in these corners. I'm actually going to spray. I never spray, but let's spray today. And see what happens once you pick it up. Just get a little more sheen. And we didn't kind of fake cut crease our little look. Gonna go back in with the red on our regular flat shader brush just to kind of create a little bit of definition right there. Just cleaning up those edges a little bit. That's super cute. Hmm. I like that. There's a gold shape in here that I want to put on my eyeballs. It's called Calica right here. I think I'm gonna put that in the center. I'm actually gonna spray it as well, I think. Yeah, I cleaned all my makeup brushes. I'm so proud of myself. Well, not all of them. I cleaned the majority of them, a lot of them rather. So I'm just gonna put that little gold shape right there, I think that's gonna be our just want to see what it looked like before and when I'll hang this almost looks like a Christmas look <laughs> like like Christmas okay Gonna pick up our brush that had our shimmer on it and kind of go make sure that that's meeting the goal. Hey, uh, I am in the melt, two of the melts, uh, hold on, two of the melt palettes. Um, I am in their impulsive. So I use the red out of here, the impulsive. I use three shades out of here. The sangre and the sangre. These last three I use. And then out of here, I use the gold and this little neon red. It's called Go Go Getter. Is it called Go Getter? Yeah, Go Getter. So that's what I'm using as a little sparkle. It's a different kind of contrast. So the red was the what we started off with is our major 
shade. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love it. I do, I do, I do. I know, isn't it pretty? So I don't think I've ever used this go-getter shade before. I think I've tried to use the red, use the red before, but I just kind of wanted to play in those, because I'm trying to discover what's making my eyes water. And so far we can eliminate. The Elf palettes are not doing it. Uh, this is not doing it. So we just gonna try to keep our eye on things so I can start trying to figure out if I'm, because I remember when I found out I was allergic to the MAC stuff. Hey, Linda Booker. Everybody's doing pretty good, I think. So that's the objective. We trying to figure out what in the world am I allergic to? It's something that's making my eyes water sometimes. And then like today, nothing. So it's gotta be something, right? It's gotta be a product. So that's what we trying out. We trying to see, we trying to do some elimination here. And so far, my, ooh, male cosmetics is not the issue at all. Where'd that other brush go? Try to put the little red brush up. We need that little red brush. Oh, see, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's th it's got to be JV because that's not, my eyes really tear up sometimes. So I was going to try to test to see. Well, maybe it's her newer palettes because I don't remember having this issue with her older palettes. But I could be wrong. So that's the quest I'm on. It's to try to figure that out because it has to be something. Because I'm not like watering up right now, or and I haven't watered up, yeah. I didn't water up with any of the elf palettes, though they have a very smooth formula, so I'm like, it's got to be something. This irritating my eyes, and y'all know most of the time I just use Juba's place, so well. I don't know. So I'm just going through some of my palettes. I don't think it's Anastasia, which I'm going to try and see. And that's the majority of the palettes that I use. So I'm not exactly sure. We're going back in today with that. Oh, how did I do this? Did I use this makeup stay on top? Did I, how did I do this? Did I even put down the, so did I put down the mattifying? Let me put down my mattifying prime chair. I'm going to use the one from Elf because I'm locked. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I just know that I really liked my skin yesterday. It is pretty. It's beautiful. I just need to figure out if that's the issue and what is it in this change. Because it's something that doesn't change to make me feel that way. So we're going to try this elf mascara because I want to, since I didn't have an issue with the eyeshadow and I'm really just trying to see if I can find a little cheaper alternative that's not going to make my eyes water. Hey. They don't love your eye. It may be. It may be that. It just may be that. Hey, Stephanie. Girl, you ain't late. You just in time. <laughs> no one is ever late. <laughs> so we're going to try the Elf Volume Plumping Mascara in Black. Since I had so much success with their... Um, eyeshadows. I wanted to try and see if I could work with the mascara. So which palettes are you allergic to, Katrina? I'm just curious that you realize you were allergic to. Are you allergic to all of them? I 
I'm so excited. I got my little Amazon lashes to put on today, y'all. <laughs> we can save my little favorite ones for when we get out of quarantine. We just gonna put on these little play ones. They all right. They they not my 121s, but I think they will do for what I'm doing, which is in the house. So we were talking about being allergic to Julia's Place um, palettes. If that's the direction I think I'm going in as far as what I think the issue may be. All of them? Dang. Okay. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Sheesh. Ooh, that it just broke my heart a little bit. Okay. The mascara is on. Put my little coat. You just order, okay. Like I said, it's just a process of elimination right now for me. I'm just going through some of the formula. And this formula is doing great. So let's just hope that that continues. Yeah, I'm, my little dollar, uh, mess, I mean, my little, uh, these are the ones that I got from Amazon. They're called 5D Natural and Soft by Valesha Lashes. V-E-L-E-A-S-H-A -E -E Lashes. Let's just see. I think I'm going to have to cut them a little bit, though. Let me look. Let's see. Because <laughs> y'all know I will not cut a lash and just keep it rolling. But I think this needs to be cut just a little bit. Let me see. If we measure it out. be okay i'm gonna cut a little bit of the inner part off just a little bit make sure i mean i mean like little like really just the end to see oh they may be okay these might work girl let's see put some glue down in a second <laughs> So if anybody else is having any issues with Julia's place, I just want to know because I'm like, ugh, hope that's not the case. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to cut, I mean, literally just cut the tip off because I like them. Oh, yeah. Woo Let's just lay down a little glue because we rolling right along. So the eye look wasn't that bad. It wasn't even that difficult. I got a little stuff on my nose. Uh, so we are going to go in with the primer. You don't use them enough. Ooh, honey. We need the other one. We already primed with this one. So we need the pink one. We're going to use a uh, Stay Put Makeup Primer, honey. Let's just go for it. Put our eyelashes on so we can get through letting this. Oh, you got too much. Hold on. Yesterday, I used this, and I liked the way everything looked yesterday. Super nice. Like, I really enjoyed my makeup yesterday. It's a perfect day to do something like this, because you're in the house. I don't know. I feel like doing something really vampish, because <laughs> we in the house. And I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, we might do something. So out of character. Cause we need cause of the weather. Okay, let's see what these eyelashes talking about. They don't be talking about nothing if we putting out there glue all the way down there. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, from Juvie's place. Girl, she done came so far from where she come, when she coming. <laughs> So I don't know if everybody, you know, when y'all came in, if y'all heard me say that my Pat McGrath order would be here tomorrow, according to I had got a ship confirmation after I emailed them and asked them, you know, just try to check on it, hadn't received anything. If the order needs to be canceled, let me know. Then next thing I know, I got a ship uh, confirmation. And it's supposed to be here tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on. I haven't had virtual me either. I haven't had any problems with their customer service. I think when she first kind of came into game, she was doing it by herself. And so I don't think she really has those issues anymore. I hope she doesn't. And plus you can order from Ulta if you don't want to order from her. You know what I'm saying? Let's tell you anything right. We moving on to the right side. Oh, this was recent? Like, what? how recent? What was your issue? Eyelashes on, y'all. They ain't bad. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, this one ain't sticking like that one is over there. Okay, I wonder if I should have. I probably should have cut the little tail in a little bit more. But, hey, we moving right along for the house. This one did good. I probably should have let that one dry a little bit more. But, hey, we moving right along. Pore filler, yes, always. We're never probably gonna skip pore filling. Ever, 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 ever. No, never, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever gonna get it. I guess it's ain't too bad, man. Eh? Oh, we. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Because I know when, when I got... What's so weird is... I know one time I... Uh, they had sent me a palette crack. And as soon as I sent them a picture of it, they sent me, you know, sent it right on. Sent me a new one. Didn't they? Maybe they were out of it, honey. That is not an excuse, but you know, I don't know. Okay. How are we feeling about these lashes, y'all? They not bad, man. They ain't bad at all. Not at all. This one. It's on here. But it ain't on here as good as this one is. Like, this one just literally laid down right onto my whole eyelid space. I mean, eyelash line. I feel like if it doesn't fit into this curve, I don't know. I know, right? <laughs> my little Amazon lashes, honey. Yes, and I got five pair. I got five pair. We got time to play with some. Do some, move some, shake some. <laughs> All right, let me quit. I'm going to go in. I know y'all tired of this foundation routine, but I just ain't feel nothing that's going to beat it right now. I'm going in with my little Believe, uh, my little Believe Illuminate, whatever it's called, gear. All over glow. All over glow. Let's go in with it. Putting out the sun. We putting out the big guns today. I feel like my face needs to be flawless for this eye makeup. Because, honey, <laughs> you back home. Why it's got to be the ghetto Dollar Tree? Why it just can't be the Dollar Tree? 
<laughs> Why it's gotta be the ghetto? Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, that's awful. So do we wanna do Julius Christ Foundation today or Believe or our new obsession, the L'Oreal? Uh, so many choices. It's ridiculous. Well, y'all have to think on foundation choices. I'm going to color correct. Y'all let me know what we're going to do for foundation today. Oh, okay. I know, right, Stephanie? I'm still here thinking lashes. Oh, my God. You get so excited about those simple stuff. And I know, you know, it just, you know, it's just makeup. But I get so excited when I get to play and stuff. And the mascara is doing well so far. My eyes are not watering up. So I'm trying to find my freaking color corrector. What are we thinking? Y'all ain't made no executive decision on foundation yet. <laughs> what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Juvia's Uma Beauty. Tandra, we just did believe. But okay, let me see what everybody else say. You still trying to play with them. Just practice with a little cheap pair every day. And it might be your glue. Like, you need to give your glue time to really dry down. Right. No, believe you. <laughs> <laughs> come, come with it. Okay, so we got Uma Beauty, we got Juvia's, we got uh, Revolution, con con uh, con Conceal and Hydrate, we got NARS, we got Georgia Armani, which I want to see. My most expensive is the Georgia Armani. You want to see that one? Uma, I got Uma Beauty. Mm hmm. Yep, that's going to be the most expensive one I have. Of course, y'all know I got NYX Glow, Wet and Wild, uh, Urban Decay. What NARS foundation do you have? I have the, uh, which one is this one? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Yeah, let's get fast. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with... Georgia Armani with this pretty eye. I think it's going to come out together. Let's just go with this one. This is my most expensive, and I rarely even use this foundation, okay? It's a little cool, but I like it. Let's go in with it. Y'all called it without inexpensive primers on. I got a little bump right there. It's pretty, though. Uh-oh. This is the Georgia Armani. Uh, to, hold on. Long wear high cover foundation. And I am in, this is the Power Fabric one. And I have the shade, it's fancy too. Let me show it to y'all. It is one ounce, but it's, it looked like it ain't. So what shade is this though? It don't tell me. It's got to tell me somewhere. It's one fluid ounce. Hmm, I don't know the shade, y'all. Hold on. It's 10. Pretty good coverage. I don't feel like I want to. I don't feel like I need to go in with uh, multiple layers because it did a pretty good job of covering. See if our if our expensive foundation gonna work on Giorgio, baby. We need Giorgio Amante. Really nice. Ooh, wait, man. Why you been using this foundation? I think I say that every time I remember to use this foundation. This is beautiful. We might need a little touch up in my little problem area. I mean, like a dab. 
did it. Just a little dab. Right there. Put a little bit on both sides. Uh, y'all. Anybody else here for this pretty foundation? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Lay down shade concealer. And then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced. I haven't used this concealer in forever. So I just want to want to use. Might well pull out all the good stuff since we um, then pulled out Giorgio. I don't have any expensive powders anymore. I have to wear it more often. Uh, Okay. <laughs> I don't want to run out of it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you know, I think I was holding on to it because it did cost so much, but you got to use it. It can really become a good, I mean, like it did a great job. Let's see how it plays well with my regular smegular stuff. I won't have any expensive powders until my order comes in. Which will be... My name and markets won't come in until Monday, I think. Hmm, that looks good. Hmm. I'm like, is this for real? Like looking like this? Let me help this dry just a little bit. This is playing beautiful. So do I want to go in with the Maybe I should keep it inexpensive. My Milani concealer, my L'Oreal concealer, my Too Faced concealer. Y'all decide. My Elf concealer, another Elf in a lighter shade. Y'all tell me. For my highlight. I use Elf a lot. <laughs> well, the Elf one for the first one, I'm going to always use that one to lay down. It's my lay down shade. So I got Elf as a, I also have it in a lighter shade for the highlight. Uh, I can use my Milani. My Too Faced, I can't go in with that one. I don't think I have any more new concealers. I have a, um... Remember this one everybody was loving on? The Maybelline, oh, do Too Faced, the Maybelline Age Rewind. That was like everybody's favorite. Okay, Too Faced, y'all want me to do Too Faced? Y'all like, I'm tired of all these cheap stuff. I'm <laughs> just playing. I'm just playing. Just playing. Too Faced, let's go in with it. This is a gorgeous concealer. If you don't have it in your repertoire, you're missing out. Definitely got to let this one dry down a little bit. Aw, thank you, Tanger. My feelings are not hurt. <laughs> they definitely will you. Do you like concealer or putty eye primer? I'm going to go. I like the putty for my eyes. That's what I use today. And it's just what I'm going to stick with. I think because it, to me, it just does a great job of making my eyelids look very smooth. To me. The concealer doesn't. I don't think it does a great job on my. Of making my eyeballs look smooth. Okay. So this concealer is straight up. 
Um, yeah, some people do. I don't. Just because I don't want to put a lot of product on my my lids because they are hooded. So if I can find one thing that kind of works as a, works for me, that's what I would rather do. And so far, using the e.l.f. Putty Primer has been the best for me. All right, while we letting that do this thing, cream contour, or we gonna cream contour with all this fanciness we got going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all might not want to, but I am. We got too much full coverage fanciness going on. Eric, I'm telling you, that, pat, that foundation, that's the biggest right there. Got me looking at flawless and stuff, healthy skin. I wonder if it's that new, if it's that primer I've been using from Believe that's helping all of this stuff look this fabulous. Yes. Their concealer is the bomb, okay? I can see why I fell in love with it. I'm gonna put a little bit of cream. I'm just gonna do my Juvis place. I ordered another one. Not another uh, Juvis, but I do want a, um, I want the Fenty matchstick back. The one I was using for contour. I like it better. I mean, I like it too. So just to have options. So I kind of blend this out like this, like so. Get everything where I want it. Then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and kind of make sure. Yeah, it's playing nice with each other. I do like the Juvis Place Concealer because I think it blends out beautifully onto the skin for the contour part. I don't think I'm in love with the concealer as a under eye concealer. I think, you know, in order for that concealer to work, you definitely have to let it dry down a little bit before you start blending it out. But for these purposes, for contouring the face a little bit, I like the shadow look. I don't like a harsh look at all. That's nice. Real nice. I'm here for it. <laughs> I don't know. Did Monique speak to y'all? She said, yeah, I like this. Okay, let's sit. I'm just going to sit with my Juvia's Place. How tall? I know y'all sick of this one too, but I like it. That or the Believe, I like both of them. Is it raining? Lord have mercy. Guess it is. Thank you. I missed who that was that said makeup was looking good. I don't want to give it a sec. 
here and a quick one. Yeah, let's go with these little smile lines right here. Oh, well, yeah, yes. Okay, I like how everything is set. That's so pretty. Look at this concealer. Honey, if you ain't thought about the Too Faced Concealer, and y'all know this is my problem area. My under eye with that Too Faced Concealer will under eye problem. <laughs> it said do not come for them. I like it because it still has a little bit of hydration in it. Um... You know, the one of the concealers that I use, I pretty much like that. I don't, it doesn't have to be dry. Like the Tarte one is dry, but it does offer full coverage. Um, but I like, think I'm liking the concealers that have a little bit more hydration than the. And baby, this Georgie Armani foundation that made me rethink her thing. Now, I don't think I could pay that much for a foundation, but this right here. Maybe making me rethink some things. That's what I'm using right now. Oh, yeah. I use that to bake with in just a second. It's coming. <laughs> I use the Juvia's Place to set. So, this is like more so if you want longevity. I don't really do my makeup just for... Unless it's on a Friday and I do something quick. But like for longevity... I do these steps so that, because I don't have time to redo makeup and do all this stuff. I'm just not that person. I don't carry around, you know, powder and stuff in my purse. I just don't. My face pretty much will last all day. So, I'm going in with the uh, banana now. And this is what I use to bake with. I don't bake with the Juvia's Place. I just use the Juvia's Place to set. And I just use the Wet n Wild to get any, soak up any excess oil. That may be trying to come through. Because this is lightweight enough. That it doesn't add texture to my skin. Yeah, I still use it. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think this helps in the pictures and stuff. when Because this is a photo focus powder. That they call it. And I just think that when you put all this together... You set everything, it just offers a beautiful look to the skin. There ain't nothing changed over here. We ain't going, oh, we got backup, so this powder, just in case they change their mind <laughs> and say, we no longer, I'm like, huh? Now I can see why people end up buying some stuff because these companies just get rid of stuff. Oh, you're welcome, Katrina. Child, that's what we're here for. We're here to help. Especially in this age bracket, honey. I'm looking at all these young folks with all this good skin. And I ain't jealous of nothing. Don't get it twisted because somebody tried to say I was a hater. I understood what you was trying to say. All right, so we're going to add... Oh, okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of contour. And I'm going to use... What am I going to use today? So I really want to do my wet and wild bronzing. Yeah. Oh, you know what? No, we're gonna do something different. We we use the same stuff out of tan. So let's do the let's do all the, all the young girls. Yep. No, I'm not no hater, child. <laughs> yep, they're gonna get our age one day, child. I'm going to use this shade from Tarte. It's the number... It's the matte contour. Yeah, they're going to get our age, honey, but... More for your ABH what? Oh, which one? You talking about for the bronzing? I'm probably going to use my ABH. Yeah, I'm probably going to use my ABH. I hadn't used it in a while. Since we being all fancy today. Since y'all want it fancy. <laughs> we going to keep it fancy. <laughs> we going to keep it fancy. Do 
This smells like cocoa or something. Yep, that's cute. <laughs> yep, it's coming. Yep. They probably take care of their skin, but you know how some folks do. Let's do Anastasia today. We're going to do a couple things, okay? So, I'm going to pull out all the fancy stuff. Let's do the Anastasia bronzer in mahogany. Let's do that as our bronzer for today. Did y'all see my post that you can get the uh, the blush from Wet n Wild? The Dare to Soar? It was on their website and it's on sale for $3. That's super cute. So I'm also going to go in with Laura Mercier's Candlelight Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Why not? On the cheeks, the little cheek air, I'm going to use the same brush. Yeah, the one is from Wet n Wild. And they got it on their website now. That's pretty. Just going to use a little bit of that to kind of give me a little bit of a softer focus to my little look. Uh, what kind of blusher is the question? We need a little bit of blush. Do we need blush? Do we need blush? We're gonna skip blush, I think, today. I think, hold on, let me let me think. <laughs> uh let's do okay, no, we're not gonna skip blush. Let's do a little bit of blush. It's gonna be an orangey type blush. You know what? Let's use a little bit. Let's see if this is going to come off right. Hold on for I tell you. Yeah, it might not come off right. Literally, a little bit of this one right here from the NARS. Just a little bit from the NARS palette. Unfiltered. That help bring that little bit back together. And if it's too much, use some of your bring use a little bit of your powder and go over everything. Have, oh no, I don't have that one. Cognac, I think I saw it. It's pretty. Very nice. Y'all, this skin got me. My face got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> um, what are we gonna do? Highlighter. No, we cannot skip highlighter. Somebody asked me that. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, who? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> for me, I like highlighter. I'm not saying it's for everybody now. But for me and my and for me in this house, we going in, we gonna keep with the highlighter. See, I was so took I'm like, mm, some of these questions. Be like, why? Let's go in with Fenty. I have the penny for your thoughts. See, just pulled it up. But I'm actually going to use the contrast and do a little bit of ginger binge and Moscow Mule. Y'all need a new... Look at this. I don't think I've ever used a highlighter as much as I've used this one. 
like to get to that point like that's pretty on the cheeks look at that i feel okay i'm gonna go ahead and go on those i feel like she needs to release just the ginger bench side for me <laughs> just for me Yeah. Over the top of that orange. <sighs> Y'all. Go in with a little bit of the. You gotta be ready for that other shade. I like it. I like it. So we went in with that. Let's put uh, everything back up in its place so we don't have to clean up again. Mario. Nothing changed on that front. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do the Elf Glow. I just may set with my Morphe. We'll just have to see how everything kind of dries down a little bit. Nope, you don't have to be extra and get no fan. It's just me. Are you going to do an under eye, under eye cold? What's cold? Uh, under eye, what? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try this Pixie on our waterline. We will definitely see if this transfers. This is the Pixie. Of course, yeah, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but we're going to do something. Cause I may kind of go in a different route for the lips, but we going there. I love it. I'm gonna let that finish drying. I love how everything is looking. Let me go in a little bit with the shade from the, I don't know how to pronounce that, Murate. And just kind of hit up our little, while it's wet, <laughs> and this allows us just to bring a little bit of the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> intensity back to the look so we get that inner corner done oh wait I think I'm gonna wait because I wanna yeah let me see I think I wanna wait That looks peachy now. I'm almost thinking. Hold on. Is this looking a little peachier? That shade? I think this is an iridescent little shade. That's cute. Oh, yeah. That's cute. So, ooh, chat, that's cute. Okay. We're going to try out this uh, Pitch, Pixie Eyeliner Silky Eye Pen. We're going to give it a whirl today. I just don't think any makeup look is complete without you doing your under eye. For me. It's almost like they go hand in hand. Mm. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's too soft for me. Hold on. It is really black, though. So this works. They had some other pretty shades I wanted. Uh-huh. Okay, that's doing a good job of 
Okay, get a nap in, girl. I'm not going nowhere today. I done took down my shrimp, my scallops. I'm gonna make some uh, squash. It's gonna be light on me today, honey. Now, what I think may be kind of fun, let's see how it pulls. I don't know how it's going to come off. It's to try to use the gold D shade that we used. Well, we might just try to do, hold on. I was going to say to keep that area kind of light, but now nah, let's just go in with the sangria shade, I think. Or should we do the red? Hold on, let's go in with the red. We've been using it all day. Let's just stick with the red. Yeah, let's just stick with the red. Okay, that's what's up. This is, um, we're using the two melt ones. This is the, oh Lord. This, the other one is the impulsive one. Hold on, this one irritate my freaking eye. Ooh. Impulsive, and this one, the other one is La Merte, or Merte, or something like that. Hold on. So we just sticking with the red shade. And we're just gonna use that as our You gonna cook talk. Marte, hold on. I only got one. I don't have a Vita one. This one is the one I have. Yeah, Murate. Murate and the impulsive one. Impulsive right here. We're just going in between those two palettes right now. So I was going to go in with a darker lip. Only because our eyes are doing the most right now. And I still may go in that direction. Okay. I'm just letting y'all know. So I do want to... I want to deepen up this outer. The under eyes look so good, y'all. I forgot how much I love that thing on Too Faced. That's cute. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our Sangre shade, the little burgundy one, and just kind of with the same brush, I'm just gonna connect it with what's the top in that outer V area at the bottom. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, let's see. What's left? Oh, let's finish our um, eyebrows up. Make sure they good. <clears throat> oh, we forgot to bronze down the nose a little bit. Let's just go in with that ABH bronzer. When y'all doing y'all makeup, do stuff just end up in spots where you, you know it don't belong? I'm going to go in with the ABA bronzer.
That looks pretty good. I like my eyes. Hold on. Let's see a little some some. Now we need to fix right there. You see where it's kind of separating because of the folds that I have going on. So just kind of press it and fill it back in. So if you don't have hooded lids like me, you are blessed. Okay. Okay, for the lips, y'all. I think, don't kill me. Are we through? Oh, let's set our eyebrows. And I'm actually trying to think of, I think I may do a dark lip. Maybe not. It's too... I can always just do a nude. That's cute. And we're going to put the e.l.f. mascara. We're going to use that for the bottom. Because so far, my eyes are not, are not watering or anything like that. So let's just stick with that. I do think I may go in with a little bit of the e.l.f. dewy. Okay. Oh, and that ColourPop mascara, y'all, I can't use it. It's going to be a no for me on that one. It irritated the mess out of my eyes. No. Lip bar. So, no. For me. So far, yes. I actually think I'm gonna go in with a peachier type lip today instead of straight, straight nude. And I think I'm gonna use my, it's those are colors, peachy. I was gonna go in with something else. I think this is gonna be kind of cute. Yeah, especially if we go in, don't you don't look crazy. But especially if we go in with a glow. Make it look a little more summery. <laughs> to tie in with our little peachy, everything else we have going on on the cheeks and stuff. It's a good formula too. Let that dry down. We might just stay this way. Man, y'all know we can stay this way. Okay. Just keeping it, keeping it going. What y'all think? Pretty much the final look. What y'all think? I think it's kind of cute. Ooh, that dried down quick. We need a gloss. We thinking. But <laughs> the eyes, they came together so cute. We need a gloss. Let's see what's down here. got the perfect gloss. Hold on, y'all. I just thought about it. It's bad. Hold on. We're going to use this uh, one from ABH, and it is called Sunset Strip. It is a peachy, kind of gold, reflexy. 
Mm -hmm. I just thought about it. It ties in so well with the peach that we had going on. Matter of fact, let me. I need to. I need a little brow bone. So let me grab something. Oh, no, I can just grab a little Juvia's place down here for my brow bone. Hopefully it won't have me crying. <laughs> uh, let's see. That might be too, too yellow. Let me see. Okay, so I'll tell y'all in a second. So I'm just using that little light shade from the Nomad. No names, just using the light shade to kind of go under here. And do a little clean up. Okay, that helped. So that's the look, you guys. I really like how everything came together. We're gonna spray down with a little bit of the, the skin looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. I do. I love how I love when a master plan come together. Don't tell. All right. You guys. Mm -hmm. What was that shade? Sun 70 strip something. What I do with it? I do too, Tandra. Thank you. I don't know what I did with the lip gloss. That's, that was new. It's here. It's here somewhere. Did I put it down here? Okay. Yeah. Sunset strip. I like that. I do. Mm hmm. We gotta leave our lipstick out because we we gotta take pictures. And I wish it had just a little more gold reflex in it. Go play, girl. Get off the phone and go play in makeup right now. <laughs> if you guys have not done your looks today, if you have this palette and you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. If you do any of the looks, don't forget to tag me. Let me see what y'all looking like out there. Make sure we're still connecting on that level. Just not, you know, me doing my makeup. I want to see what y'all up to too. You know, tell me some of y'all favorite products in the comments. Let me know. You know, these these one-hour sessions have been helpful or is it irritating or you just want me to um, start just doing the eyes and because my, my face part hasn't really changed that much except, you know, sometimes I go in with a different, you know, foundation. But today's foundation, thank you all for reminding me how beautiful um, that Georgia Armani foundation really is. It got me feeling like, girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. Until the next time, I will see you all on the next turn. All right. Bye bye. I, me too, Katrina. Sorry. Me. But <laughs> getting in there, ask you to, Yeah, come on now. Let's let's stay in this thing together. You know what I'm saying? Not just me. I want to see y'all having some fun too. That's what it's about. That's why we're here. We're here to support, uplift, no critiquing. You know, I'm not here for that. Uh, Cause I can't critique nobody. Everybody has their own makeup style. I just kind of tell you guys what I like, what's working for me, and hopefully it can help you if you may have been going in the wrong direction. Kind of come back in, you know, a a better direction, not the best direction, but a better direction. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Okay. All right, you guys. I will. Uh, thank you, Monique. I really appreciate that. Huh? Somebody said, as usual, honey. Y'all just don't even be knowing. Sometimes the struggle be so real in my head that um. I almost, oh, I used the Georgia Armani Power, hold on, Power Fabric, not the silk one. I got the power, because this is supposed to be a little better for oilier skin. So we're going to see how this wears, y'all. I can't remember because I haven't worn it in a while, but thank you all for saying pull out that one. Oh, you, no problem. Pull out that one. Let's go for that one. I am here for that. Sometimes we need those reminders and that palette. I mean, th that foundation is beautiful. Um, it should be for the price, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.